Oh, right. I should probably turn those on just so people can mess with me. Because why not? It's part of the fun. Plus, I'm booting into the server anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and <laughs> turn all of that on. All right, we should be good. Well, you know, should be in the relative term, but all right. I might occasionally be tapping out, though. I'm in a few text conversations with a few people, but all right. So when we left last time, I think we were a little further south. I decided to go a little further north because I logged on, checked something, heard something explode, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's probably a chopper. No, it was a freaking gas zone, but that's okay. Is that? Nope, that's. Well, I mean, those are bullets that I use, so. Still in the process of randomly picking stuff up. I mean, that's... How is... Wait a minute. So you're... You're one by what? One, two, three, four, five? Why are you two by four? Wouldn't you just be like one by four if it's the same? Because total size-wise, I would mean that is... This is bigger than that. I... Okay. All right. Sure. You know what? Sure. Poor lap sack. Send in goat team six now. Pog. Box 380 rounds are might as hell take. Badly damaged hunter pants. Springfield. But Nicholas, thanks so much for the seven month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this little uh, daisy thingamajig. Why do I keep finding so many different things of cannabis seeds? Like actually, like that's the fourth different type. Let me guess, this is gonna be another one? Nope, tomatoes, I'll still take those. Hunter jacket out of 80, but I think the one I'm wearing is 90? Well, okay, this one's damaged, and this one's worn. So, actually, I'm going to transfer everything over to that one because that one's slightly better. Plus, it's, uh, you know, a darker color. Not that the uh, pink I'm wearing would be any different, but, you know. All right, should be good. Drop that, put that on. Anything else in here? What are you? Your Mazer ammunition, right? For the frickin' yeah. Us. Oh. I guess the servers restart at 12.45. So what happened with F and F? Um, I am too risky right now to stream. So they don't want me streaming EU. And uh, yeah, I kind of yelled at them for that one. I, I literally, I, yeah, I told them the polite way of fuck you, Send um, which is have a wonderful day, of course. Now. Happy Friday, Liru. LCPL heart, LCPL heart. So, the reason they're being defensive about it is Claire is going to be on tonight in EU for uh, the, uh, you know, official Arma 3 developer team there. Uh, and he's a good guy. I mean, I'm, I've been talking with him about streaming today, actually. Um, so I, I understand why, but I'm a little pissed off because the only reason they're doing it is because I told them that there might be an issue. So their immediate response is to just say, okay, the one thing we have you do to grow our community, you're not going to do that today. I'm like, okay, cool. So I reached out to Barb. There's going to be some other Arma 3 events I'm going to look into trying to get into. Um... And I might cut back on F and F because clearly they don't give a shit about me. So that's life, though, on the macro level, which I get. But yeah. Oh well. But Luxy, thanks for the 17 month resub. Hope you keep enjoying the operations. Do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. What I'm gonna do is, um, let's see if the server rebooted. It's uh, it has a big mod set, so it might take a hot second. Yep. All right. We're just gonna wait on that. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stream a TSB up today. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm still going to cover NA. They said I can. And if they rescind that, I'm going to basically go on a troll campaign against them at that point. Um, but yeah, no. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to be covering... Uh, Barb's going to get me into ESM, which we covered a few years ago. Um, they do things like two or three times a year. It's just a massive capture the flag uh, team v team event, which I did enjoy doing last time. Uh, and I guess I never followed up on them because they only do it two or three times a year. But he got the go ahead for me to do that. I'm going to look into seeing if I can cover AFI from the sky. Because that's another event I've been eyeing for a few months, if not like half a year, that I've wanted to do. No, we're, we're not ending. We're just trying to get back on the damn server. Uh, we just started, but the server decided to uh, have a quick restart. So, yeah, you know, just <laughs> can't catch a break. <laughs> I can't win. <laughs> um, Don, the, the audio snippets are up, right? But yeah, no. And then I also talked about uh, talk with Barb. There might be a few other communities I'll slip in and do some more stuff with, like TMTM late Saturday or Sunday nights. I won't be able to do Saturdays all the time because I've got another thing. But um, I could, with uh, Project Tension, only just go to the main events, occasionally going to a side events as well. Uh, but that can leave me room to do more stuff. But, of course, I still want, you know, some days off here and there. What? That's creepy. All right. Well, I didn't need that. Thank you, game. Really cool. Just going to pretend that. Okay, yeah. I think that's a deer or some bullshit, but... <laughs> uh, but yeah, any tips on being a better Zeus? Just listen to your community. Um, always take feedback. Don't be afraid to do something, but at the same time, make sure you always talk with your community about any changes. I guess when I say community, let me uh, rephrase. Player base. Uh, is your best term because at the end of the day the only concern you need to have is for your player base uh, when you're Zeusing or making missions really that's that's advice for any uh, mission development all right so we're gonna go to Green Mountain I just have to look for that damn giant pole in the sky Why was there just an explosion over to the right? <laughs> so that was either a chopper or a chemical attack happening, which, based off of the server, could have been either because it just restarted. Yeah, so I don't see the freaking pole outside, but it's somewhere over there. Hunger and... Water are fine. So we're just going to go on an adventure, check out one of the traders. I was going to go to the northern one, but... Yeah, it's it's very dark right now, too. I do apologize, guys. It's just nighttime. Forty hours of testing. Yeah, I mean, that's the way to do it. What's your average prep for a mission? Uh... <laughs> The 40 hours of testing meme. I love that meme. God, I was such a shit back then. Is it just me or does that door just sound really weird? Huh. I could have sworn that sounded like really, really weird. Um, Pay for pain was good. All right, there's, there's the TV tower. Um, it was, it was a good balance when we got through everything. We did some special stuff. And, uh, everyone seemed to have a good time despite it being rather stressful, you know? That's the whole point of Pay for Pain. Is you want it to be stressful, but you want to make sure everyone has a good time out of it. The gunshot lined up with the door. Oh, that's why it sounded weird. When you fuckers put a sound bite of a gunshot. <laughs> Let me guess. Okay, it had to have been, like, a suppressed one then. Because it sounded really, like, weird. 
I don't know what the heck you put. <laughs> so anyway, um, how this works for all of you new people is I uh, when I play DayZ, I put down some uh, audio snippets of, uh, you know, gunshots, mutant noises, yadi da. And I can't see on OBS when they pop up. They only appear in the, um, in the whatchamacallit. Do I have a belt? No, I don't. Well, now I do. Awesome. Uh, in the video recording. Uh, and they'll also pop up for you because I have, um, it's basically putting it on a different channel that I can't see in the OBS window. But I, you can see in the recording, you can see in the output. Uh, so... I don't know if you're trolling me or not, and since I'm super jumpy, people seem to really enjoy doing this to me, so. Door stuck. <laughs> but my usual prep for Arma Ops is, um, I'll make the mission. I'll then, uh, you know, test the mission locally. I'll then, uh, if I really, really, oh my, ooh, oh my god, yes. Big backpack. Big backpack. I mean, it gives me a bigger profile, but bigger backpack. I'm just going to rapid click these. Okay, that sounded to my right. It gave a click. But I don't think that was real. I don't think that one was real. I think that was you guys messing with me. I could be wrong. I could be about to die. But I'm... Uh, maybe? No, because the zombie outside would be aggroing to that gunshot. If that was real. Yeah, therefore, I don't believe you. <laughs> we have a car over here. I might want to check that out. Nemesis, I can share whatever I want on my platform. And if you don't like that, you can get off of it. All right, checking on this Vic. But yeah, no, back to the prep. I'm going to take the compass. I don't think it'll come up, but I guess if I just take it out and look at it, if I'm truly needing uh, a sense of direction, I can figure that out. Whew. All right, but let's see. I'm trying to think here. Uh, prep for an op is um, if it's something I've done in the past in a community, I generally don't do a multiplayer test until... Uh, unless it's something new, but if it's like a new campaign, for example, or a specific one-off where I'm testing new features, then yes, usually the day of, I want to say a few hours beforehand, I'll take, uh, either my test server or TSB's main server if no one's using it, and I will, um... You know, I'll see if what I can do to break anything, if it's like a custom scripted thing, if it's a custom composition, um... And I'll do my best to you know, see what I can do about it, you know? Because um, really a lot of custom stuff, it's all about trying to break it and figure out, you know, what's going to happen. Is this going to break? Is it not going to break? Um, but, you know, regardless, I've also found however much you test something, if it's going to break, it's going to break. You know what I mean? Like, Arma is just completely unpredictable. So... You know. And that's something that, you know, the first few times it happens to you, it's going to suck. And you're going to feel like shit about it. You're probably going to replay it like 20 times in your head just to figure out what happens. But, again, the best thing you can do is just do all the prep you can beforehand. You know, give yourself some time. Give yourself a few weeks. But things should be A-OK. -okay. You know, and yeah, your player base will always find a way to break stuff. Um, it's also helpful uh, in some of my tests, like... Um, 
checkpoint RPs or pay for pains or any one of my major events, I'll always grab a few people and get them on the server beforehand. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the trader. So I'm assuming that's where the lights are, but we'll see. Uh, but it's always good to, you know, get some people on because some pe people always think differently. Um, they'll think of how to do things differently. They'll think of different ways to potentially break things. And it's good to get that input in for testing. I mean, that's why beta testing is a thing, you know? But... I mean, so my mind's just racing to, like, 20 different things that, you know, can go wrong in an Arma op. And then there's also outside factors that, you know, you can't even control. Because it's Arma, you know? You, you never know what the hell's gonna go wrong. But... So I'm noticing... I think I have a color correction on, but it's not... Oh, shit, this is a safe zone. Alright, well, that's good. I mean, I'm just gonna... Here, let me, um... Let me see if I can make this a bit brighter. Um, but, you know, it just, it's Arma, you know? <laughs> like, there's there's not really much you can do about that sort of thing. Uh, where is my daisy window? All right, properties. Uh, no, it would be under filters. So is it color correction or is it... Yeah, no, it is color correction. Let's try that. Just because it's still a little... Yeah, I'm going to run into the darkness for a second. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it got a bit of a white shine to it. But that's the only way to really reflect what I'm seeing on the window. Dudes have cars here, man. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's other people. So what is this, vending machine? So I'll be honest, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. I've never played with trade scripts before. So I have no idea what to expect. All right, so... This will be good, too, because I'll be able to see what the buy and sell prices of things are. So... Okay. So if you just have the item, it puts it in there. That's pretty cool. This will give me, uh, you know, something to, to work for. All right. I mean, yeah, those I can definitely sell. I'm not going to. I don't do blood correction kits. Wait, so is currency, I see. So currency is a physical item. Wait, it's in ruples. Ah, shit, I'm broke. <laughs> I have, I have one penny. <laughs> I have four pennies, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I've got. Three of those. Blood test kits. Tetracycline, obviously, is going to be the highest thing. I'm keeping that for myself, though. Uh, yeah, I, I don't need... I'll keep one of my morphine. I know. I have less than four cents. And then I assume the ATMs, I can then deposit the money. So I assume this is, oh my god, yeah, alright. So you can buy vehicles for a massive amount of money. I don't think I have anything near that yet. <laughs> Plus knowing me, I'd immediately crash the damn thing. 
But nah, we just exploring. I know, 1700. Ah, here we are. Yeah, might as well sell that. All right, so guitars are worth a lot of money. Nail bats, cattle prides. I mean, compared to the medical stuff, not really, you know? Like, but we've got melee, sidearms. Okay, so handguns are good. You can't sell a Springfield. All right. But that was apparently... Did I just accidentally sell my Deagle? <laughs> Whoops. Just sell all my shit and go find more shit. I mean, that's that's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, so it looks like it's only allowing you to sell the vanilla guns, not the modded guns. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, that. I mean, yeah. Cool. All right, so um, this is the modded list. So you want to sell... I mean, it's a safe zone, right? I don't think wolves are going to be an issue, but... All right, so Kimber Customs are really worth a lot. We found those in civilian traders. Okay. Most of these rifles are going to be worth, like, seven fifty to a grand. So we basically want to just find and sell rifles here. Yeah, so it has everything sorted by guns here uh, and mods. So that's what we want to do. Oh, wow, it's only worth 300 That sucks. Oh, damn, but... Okay, I didn't know that, but now I'm going to start picking those up because that's worth three grand. All right. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. They got boxes of rounds, so... Real quick, a box of 3080, it's one per one. How much ammo do you get per box, though? Like, out of curiosity here. So, I don't see a point of basing, to be honest, because you can just come up here, sell all your stuff. Yeah, I got a rifle sling, basically, to help with storage. And I'm keeping my K98. I'm keeping my hoe as well, because I want to go at least make a farm somewhere. Oh, sorry. Don't mean to be in your way. Oh, right. I didn't confirm what the heck I was thinking. So... Where's that box of 3080? Because I want to see how many bullets I'll get out of it per that i'd assume it's 25 rounds so i guess boxes of it let me um yeah rifled slugs nine by 39 i i guess it's better just to sell it in the boxes that then you have to at least sell it like individually so might as hell you know so boxes of ammo are good we've got tracer rounds Oh, apparently you can't. You got to do it slowly. All right. Maybe the box had 35 in it. Yeah, you're right, because I think the LR box is 50. So, um, lawn rifle round, for example. Can you sell 22 LR? So that's worth one, but how much is a box of 22 or 20? Hmm. 
I'll have to do some experimenting then because I just sold all the boxes, but that's okay. Oh, this is going to take a while, though. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's okay. I mean, this is a this is a safe zone, so if someone be shooting, it's not at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep my shotgun just in case I run into wolves, but I think everything else I'm going to try to sell off, so. I think it's just trying to find the right speed. But I like the vending machine system with the currency. But I don't think, like, you know, for Froster, I'd right, appreciate something like that, you know? All right, one second. All right, just dealing with DMs. All right. So, yeah, no, the 9x39, I'm definitely selling that. Hiding in a safe zone, I know. Just trying to sell off all my shit and trying to figure out what's valuable and what's not, you know? I wish there was a way that you can, like, you know, put the total amount that you have or, like, see that, but I think that would be, uh, you know, a little too much. But I think really the best thing to grab in terms of shit to sell would be guns. Ammo's okay, but, you know, it just takes forever to sell off. Trying to work out prices with Rathom for Sunday. Nice. Yeah, so I'll keep my shotgun ammo. Ooh, yeah, I did just sell my Deagle, so magazines would be good, but it looks like I hear them unloading mags too, so I assume when you sell the magazine, it doesn't automatically sell the ammo inside as well. I'm not going to be that petty for a few bucks, because now that I know what the prices are to grab everything, it's not too much. Okay, so stocks are good, handguards, I mean, for the size, it's um quite a bit. Pistol suppressors, a compensator, yeah, you know, like single items. Again, I'm just trying to note, like, you know, what's really good here and what's not. Wow, only 100, but they cost 9. Well, I mean, then again, you know, like, secondaries. Who's going to want that? And then STG mag is also worth 100, which they're kind of big in size, so I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah, and then all the suppressors I got. It's listed twice. Interesting. Ah, so these are in quantities of 40, but they're worth 550. Okay. Yeah, so any of the special bullets... From Snafu. All right, that's that's worth a lot of money then. Okay, that is quite nice. Honestly, for clothing, Little Pony Tactical Helmet. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, like, these are not worth the sell at all, because, I mean, the prices compared to other stuff. I mean, yeah, that for, wow. Holy crap, body armor's cheap. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's really cheap. Holy shit. I mean, super laggy when you go and grab stuff, but... Okay. Ghillie stuff's also pretty cheap. So don't do clothes is what I'm seeing here because clothing is not worth it at all. Oh, 
Okay. And then this, I think, is, yeah, to purge trash and whatnot. So is there anything else here? What do I still have in my inventory? Uh, so food and utility items. There's also some ammunition that I wasn't able to sell. Okay. So not everything can be sold, at least at this location. Maybe northernmost areas... You can do more, but let me just go and do one more uh, quick look around. Because I just took that weapon off, so yeah, I can sell that now. There is also a quote-unquote black market dealer in a PvP zone, so I'd imagine he's... Um, like, you can sell all the high stuff here, but, you know, for, like, gathering civilian stuff and grabbing that here, this is definitely what you want. All right. Put all that in there. All right, yeah, so we still have seeds, code locks, so utility gear is not what we want. And then those suppressors we weren't able to sell off, but maybe because I had them tucked away. But no, I was able to sell some bandages, but maybe that's because I had them out and about. So let me try pulling these out and seeing if they'll sell. And let's do a comparative uh, price thing here. So that's 20 rounds of that. the paper in there and then let's see if I can sell this ammo here Optics seem to be the most lucrative trade here. So military zones and optics seems to be like the best thing to get. Because, I mean, those are the really high price points there. Yeah, and then even civilian optics are also pretty good. So that's good to know. Suppressor, I mean, they're, they're worth more than suppressors, like good God. But yeah, no, that's, uh, that seems to be it in terms of that. Military clothing. All right, cool. And yeah, no, that's all. I didn't notice these tabs earlier, so you can sell. Wow, I mean... Strawberry jam is, like, the best item for food, but, yeah, no, okay, canned food is also not too bad. I'd rather drink that, to be honest. That's not worth 10. And then this is how you do money exchanges. Okay, cool. Huh. But you can't, you can't sell fruit back. Okay, got it. Neat. I know someone dropped a pack, but you're not you don't want to be that guy that, you know steal shit. Well, let's put the eight hundred back in here. So I'm just trying to debate if that's it or not. Oh no, there's more over here. Because I'm thinking there has to be something to sell, like, utility stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I'm going to put some stuff away. Yeah, so it does not sell at all. So you're better off not picking up utility stuff compared to other items. I mean, I'd rather sell one and then buy one because I have one that's about broken. 
yeah, no, it's not worth it at all. So when I decide to base build, then we can get into that. But for now, just sell what you got. Code locks, though, mm, that's worth a lot. So we'll go ahead and sell those off. I knew they'd be worth something pretty heavy. But yeah, in terms of all the space that these items take, nah, you want to get rid of that. Then you got lock picks. Lock picks are also worth a lot. Okay. All right, sledgehammer and a pipe wrench. I'm going to keep the pipe wrench because it's a good melee weapon. Um, sledgehammer, I think, is actually a little better, but that's fine. Glow sticks. Don't need those because it doesn't get too, too dark. Nails. Oh, I knew it. Nails would be a fucking currency. I knew it. Nails are always worth too much to freaking not be a damn currency. Duct tape. And to repair my backpack, I'll keep that. And then uh, gas canisters, they're, yeah, they're okay. They're worth quite a bit, but not as much. And then these are also worth quite a bit. Okay. We're just figuring everything out. Oh, God. Okay, so kits are worth a bit of money, too. So hitting industrial areas, it's just kits are also a big size. So you just got to keep that in mind. Oh, protective cases would be good because um, that can expand inventory room. I think I have a big enough thing, though. Military crates, though. Yeah. All right. All right. So those wouldn't be worth to bring back for 1,500. So we have seeds. Which I could just sell right now. And then come back for them. I'm debating. Yeah, I mean, because the price-wise, I can just, you know, have the uh, inventory space to go tick up other stuff. Because I'm going to be spending a few days just going out there and getting stuff. So the teddy bears... I mean, it gives you extra space, but I have a 120-slot backpack right now, so it's not really worth it to me. Uh, Dutch oven. Yeah, okay, for the size of Dutch oven, is not worth it. Ball grill. A hard egg. I'm not hauling a hard egg all the way up here. That's way too massive. But let's see. If they have this, does that mean they have the uh, the backpack from that mod as well? Tier 2 wall kit. A land claim kit. Interesting. Yeah, so I think I've come full circle. All right. What do they got in here? Uh, oh, shit. Okay, so hunting and fishing actually gets you a decent amount of money. Okay. That's kind of cool that they have that feature, though. Um Probably not going to go after it personally, but that is nice. That is nice to see. And then how does uh, civilian clothing go? NVG head strap. How much do our NVGs worth then? Some armbands, surgical. Yeah, clothing is not worth it. But NBC clothing is cheap from what I'm seeing. Okay. So if I find a teddy head, pick that up. If I find a jester hat, pick that up. This is going to be a lot to remember. Masks. All right, so the fancy stalker masks, pick those up. Those are worth it. Well, it depends on the size. If it's too big, then no, it's not. Clown mask, also worth a little bit. Yeah, everything else. Yeah, vests are going to be massive. Those aren't worth it at all. But no, NBC clothing's rather cheap, too. Huh. I can sell my belt. Probably because it's equipped to me, I can't sell it. Backpacks. Backpacks are actually worth quite a bit. I'll have to check on the spacing. But no, I could, I could do that. Yeah, there's nothing I can sell. All right, cool. So that is that. I think that is it in terms of 
materials. Is this a different script for the ATM? It's neat. And the max you okay, so that is the maximum amount of money you can have, I guess, stored before they uh Yeah, so what is that? That's ten thousand thousand. So that would be what, ten million? Yeah. Not having that anytime soon. So what do I still have? I still have the canopy tent. I still have the sleeping bags. I still have that part. Okay. Some food, some shotgun parts, a melee weapon, which I think I have tied to there. This isn't worth anything. Shoots 9 by 39. So I bet, um, I guess, an oh my god, map, please. I guess another thing I'm going to want to check out is the northern trader to see if there's anything different there. And then to go from there. Okay. Because the north, I mean, there's, you know, two large towns you can hit. There's a lot of other buildings in there. Yeah, so that's where we're going to want to start making our way to next. I'm going to adjust my items here. So I want to see if there's anything different that I can sell off up there. But let's go ahead and have a meal. And I just put the rice over that. Yeah, today's F and F. Good luck, Falcon. Knock him dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, buy cheap north, sell south in the profit. Yeah, that's that's how you do it, right? <laughs> Let's go off in the distance. Hit a few towns along the way, see what's going on, you know, that sort of thing. Didn't look like there were two, like there was only two other dudes up there. They had a car, the cars left, so I'd imagine, um, Just because the brightness isn't really... It's just making everything bright. It's not getting that level of saturation that I want. So I'm going to turn it down just a touch. Get back to the previous level. If not slightly lower. And so I'm going to turn the saturation up. Yeah, so that was a little better. All right, well, let's run back into town, see what we can do. And I know for a fact some of you are going to mess with me, so. What's this? Oh. Oh, shit, they have a passcode on it. All right. So I guess that's a code lock, right? All right, chat, here's the deal. The 338 is the one that you always freaking play. So I know every freaking time that it is a damn troll bite. Every time. You got to do a different one. Because that one is literally used every single freaking time. I'm used to it at this point. So where am I now? We're going for the northern trader, which means I have to continuously head north. So, yeah, we'll just hit through these two towns. 
Yeah, now join the server. Yeah, DM me for the freaking IP. I'll send it to you. You can go buy a 338 or find one and then hunt me with it by all means. Was that me going through a bush or was that a gunshot? I can't tell. Oh, gosh. Wait, hitbox. Come on. Let me through. One of these days, I swear I'm going to open the door, and then someone's going to immediately blow my head off. I'm going to go, oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to continue to, we'll pick up ammo, because ammo was, ammo boxes were okay, like, not the best, but, you know, for now, since I don't have anything better to pick up, a pepper. No, 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 no. That's a scarecrow. I, I actually just thought for a split second a scarecrow was a person. I'm... Yeah, the wrench wasn't worth it in terms of storage count. There's other items to be had. That just to get a drink later. Peacoat's damaged. Single magazines, I think, are also going to be fine. Sporter mags, like anything. Van well, no, not the, not all of that. But yeah, you got to unload all the ammo from the mags before you sell them. If you really wanted to maximize what you had, but you know, nah. So there's a car in here, which leads me to believe there might be someone around this area. Which you know concerns me a little bit. 50? How do you have 50 cal in your house? Why do you have 50 cal? Yes, I, I, I have good posture. I'll hydrate too, but... I mean, yes, I have a few 12.7 rounds, but that's because people have sent me some. Some are duds, some are not. <laughs> Fuck, was a frying pan worth anything? Even then, it's like 12... Well, okay, actually, are you going to be... You're going to be one slot, so that's good for storage. Oh. I'll keep it for now, but I don't think it was worth a lot. Because when you're going out to, like, you know, get stuff to sell at a store, you got to think about your ratios of, you know, how much the gear is worth compared to how much space it uh, actually is, which is why I'm not going to touch sporter mags. Oh. That's not good. Can you not? Hey, die. Rope, not sure if that's worth anything, but... You know what? No, wolves, I can just kill them all, skin them all, and then run back and sell the meat before it rots, so... I welcome wolves. I welcome them into my freaking... Why is that such a lot? Freaking... I have a rifle. I have ammo. I will make do. I welcome death. I was just in here, wasn't I? You see, I'm not that smart.
That much is, you know, already evident with everything. Trying to make sure my vest doesn't outright break, and then, you know, anything I've got in here doesn't break, but I wanted to keep it... Oh, shit! I don't hear aggroing zombies, though. Wait, I might have just heard an aggroing zombie. Okay, yeah. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. That's... Yeah, I don't see all the zombies. Like, they're all holding still. anything though then all these uh, these drugged seeds but some are getting damaged so I'm a little worried about that just trying to think let's uh, let's just take a quick break and eat some shit the cowboy hats were style points yeah right That actually looks disgusting. Like, that looks like a burnt pepper rather than a dried pepper. Hell, if it wasn't for the stem, I don't think I'd see that as a pepper. <laughs> that would be that'd be something a little different there, Chief. Here, I'm going to put the damaged seeds in here so they're protected. Yeah, no, we were able to put the medical things in there, too, and just stack items on top of items. Yeah, let's see one of the jams. But, yeah, no, cans of food are also worth quite a bit, so I'll be keeping those. But, like, you know, jam and honey and shit was worth less, but it fills you up for more. So I'm just going to keep those and eat them on the fly. Can you imagine just, like, having a full thing of strawberry jam in your hand and just, like, opening the damn thing and eating it, like, on its own? Like, that to me is crazy. What's the name of the server? DM me on Discord. I'll send you the name. When I get to the next town over, I'll check my DMs and all sorts. Uh, I'll send it to those who have been asking. Is there anything in here? That's the fucking 338. Stop it. Stop it. No one's going to try to kill me on the server with a 338 until some of you actually get on and start trying to kill me with a 338. <laughs> I don't trust it now, all right? I just, you know. <sighs> all right, give me one second to go through DMs here. Sorry, just texting LeClaire back. Okay, let me... One second, I do have to tap out.
do do people want to hunt and kill me do 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 i am quite scared do <laughs> do do <laughs> Uh, let me get this sent out. And let me get this sent out. You know what? I'm going to go to my Discord and I'll just post the uh, post the information there. Because we do have a Daisy channel. Since people keep asking, and that way I don't have to constantly tab out. All right, well... I'm I'm gonna go get hunted down by players with 338s now, and they're gonna ruin my life. So, okay, I thought you were a player for a second. I was about to be really mad, but you know what? Just I'm sorry. Is that a suppressor on my K98? I just found out I have the most wonderful thing in the world. Please, sir. Uh... What what suppressor is this? A 300 AC suppressor works with any 556308 or 300 AC guns and some AK guns. <laughs> what is this qualifier? <laughs> 8 mm Mauser. What is that qualifier? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, best way to be in one of my ops, Cole, is uh, in TSB. However, there's other communities I work for. Uh, I guess not work for. Work implies they pay me. I don't really do paid gigs anymore. See, they only walk, though. <gasps> Tuna! So that's from a specific mutant. Uh, mutant. Uh, I'm going to assume they're not on the server. Because if they're on the server, then I am in trouble. Okay? At that point, I'm in a lot of trouble. All right? In fact, I would happen to say that I would be in danger at that point. Okay? So, you know what? We're going to pretend that that was a sound bite. And, uh, you know, I don't... Uh, oh, wait. No, I still have my shotgun, right? Where's my where's my little emergency I fucked up? Oh, I sold it like an idiot. Okay. Well, um, we have this one now. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Nope, 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 nope. No more zombies, no more, no more of that. No 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 no. No 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 no. We're not, we're not dealing with any of that, sir. I wonder if currency randomly spawns on the map. Yeah, no, the brightness on the stream still kind of sucks. I do apologize for that. Here, what's the what's the hotkey to see other people on the server? Is it F1? No, that's to put my hand up. No, 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 no. Why did five zombies spawn right there? Okay, look, clearly they missed. If they're real, they'll give us another shot. Okay, a protective case. I'll take it. Pack. I mean, it's better than a damn belt. 
So it has a little bit of space, you know, for my balls. I don't know if you're worth money. I'm going to just put you in here and see if you are, but, you know, you might not be, in which case I'll be really sad. I can drop the flag, though. I, we can just buy a flag later. Jesus fucking Christ. Can you not? <laughs> not the damn mutant attack sound, because that's literally a jump scare, sir. Well, I ran into two of them over in the trader area. So, of course, out of everywhere to be, I've happened to run into the t only two other players on the damn server. Bro, it wants a hug. I don't want a fucking hug. I feel like someone's already been in this house, because there's, like, jack shit in it. Mm, actually, no. Yeah, no, this is where we started, I believe. So here, let's do a quick test. I already went through this building. Let's see if there's anything new. What are you? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Motherfucker, I'd be dead. Okay, let's be if that was real, I'd be dead. All right? Purple Kush. Okay, yep. Someone just just really wants to see me die, huh? I get it. You know, Springfield is worth money as well. At this rate, though, I'm going to completely fill up on uh, other stuff. Why does zombie just aggro outside? I don't hear any footsteps. Why the zombie aggro outside? <laughs> Why? Why is it making noises? No, 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 no. Why did my power just flicker too? I'm, I'm not having a good time. Bro, I am straight up not having a good time. Come on, man. I'm just trying to make a living finding stuff to sell to people, man. That axe isn't worth it. I mean, it would be good because it occasionally rains to have an axe, but I sell both my hatchets like an idiot because hatchets are actually really good. Yes, I did. That's fine. There's bushes. We'll just use the damn bushes. Okay, there's no aggro zombies, which means we can keep going. Mushrooms are actually worth a bit of money, so I'm actually going to go back for those. Oh, there are only there are two spaces, though, so that kind of nullifies it. Okay. We're going to go for a walk. Well, Falcon, I'm going to be honest with you. The only people that hate it when their teammates call their team bad are people that hate being called bad because they might be bad. Just who cares? Ah, oh, yes, a tractor. And it's towing something. So I'm going to assume that's a T-157 Russian Bubadian. Yes. It's a uh, it's a Smirnoff. Uh, main battle assault transgression tank. Yep. 
totally. That's totally what it was, right? Totally. Alright, let's get our bearings. Uh, let's go over to Starry. So there's a hunter tent over to the right. Let's go touch that. <clears throat> Those zombies got nothing on me, exactly. Ride the tractor, take a tank once in a while. Exactly. Well, I mean, in Ukraine, I mean, so anything you take from the Russian military is, uh, you don't have to report it on your taxes. What the fuck was that noise? Guys, it's turning into day. I think it's a four hour day night cycle. I just realized, yeah, um, oh, yeah, we're completely out. We've got to be going that way. All right, well, we uh, missed the Hunter Lodge, but we can... I look ridiculous. Holy shit, I actually look ridiculous. Okay. I I look like something a bear is going to look at and not even know what the heck to, to do with this. Do I even look like something to eat? I, I just look dumb. And then I have this nice little spot on my head that shows snipers where to shoot me. Isn't that convenient? For the sniper, I mean. I, uh, that wasn't an invitation! Please, no. Why are there a bunch of lights up there? Oh, this is someone's base, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to just start marking them on my map when I find them. Yeah, and then there was another one. Yeah, I don't like that symbol. There's another one over here. I'm not a base raider, especially in a server like this where you can just, you know, buy and sell whatever. Oh, so that, like, dynamically marks them on the map, too. Not gonna lie, that's actually really useful. Um, yeah, so I want to see them on the 2D. Then I want to put the northern... Just so I'll always have that on my HUD, you know? It's like seven clicks that way. So yeah, we want to go into Starry. It's actually a hunter stand right here. Yeah, I'm not worth the ammo to spend. Exactly! I mean, someone dressed up this way. Clearly is not worth the ammo to spend on. Okay. Okay, an AVS mag. I've seen multiple of those. I don't even know what the freaking AVS is. You'd shoot me? Well, thank you. I mean, I... Is that really a compliment, though? Not really. It's not really a compliment. It's like the opposite of a compliment. <laughs> 
Yeah, Falcon, you come from PvP land, so I, I don't know. Oh, hi. Can I introduce you to... Yeah. The horny hammer of bonkness. Okay. Why does someone have a... Is this, like, deployed? No, someone actually has a base in this house. Oh, well, I'm in someone's base now, apparently. That's not good. I don't hear any footsteps and shit. Sites are worth a lot of money. Frying pans are good storage items. Well, I just went into a zombie's base, shot the zombie in the head, and then stole his frying pan. I don't know how I feel, chat. Am I the asshole? <laughs> For going in and stealing a zombie's frying pan. Oh, my God. I see a man running with the fucking pink striped bandana and, and the little red, like, whatever the heck this thing is called. And the blue backpack just with the freaking suppressed rifle and a freaking hoe as his sidearm. It's my stick. It's my beating stick. Shame on me? Well, he wasn't using it. He was outside just doing this menacing pose away from me, okay? You know, I was... I was just... Yeah, okay, no, I, I don't see a way I can talk myself out of that one. Is that gas? Okay, no. God, third person, man. Bullet. I swear, one of these towns, I'm going to find someone, they're going to immediately, like, light me the fuck up, and I'm going to go, no, sir, please. Well, the fact that a zombie, like, immediately spawned in here is kind of a good sign, right? Were bandages worth a lot? I don't remember. I don't think so, but, you know, bandage. Charcoal. I will always take drugs. Gas mask filter. I mean, you can repair that with charcoal tablets now. Medical pouches because they're well-sized. Yeah, I mean, he was standing there menacingly, okay? I don't know what he was staring at, all right? For all I know, he was about to bomb. Uh, he was about to... B I'm going to actually keep this, because now I think those are worth quite a bit in terms of weapon attachments. But uh, he was going to bomb Malaysia. Okay? I couldn't let him go out and bomb Malaysia, all right? I had... Oh, my fucking God, the fucking Islam bullshit. I, I legitimately think if a player were to come up and scream at me with a melee weapon, that would actually make me physically flinch. Okay. I'm a coward. Ah. An M14 mag. Box of 308 there. I guess I also, when I get close to the trader, I'm going to want to sell stuff and then go check out an industrial site. 
let's see, it's about two o'clock. Nope. 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 That was a bear. That was a bear. Let's just listen in. I don't hear any other bear noises. Does this mean we're okay? You know... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep listening. I'm just gonna keep listening for a second. Let me give it a second. I think I'm okay. We're just gonna. I'm not gonna lie, half of that. I was expecting to open the door and someone to immediately blow my face off for the hell of it, but you know, all right, we're good. We're okay. Yes! Okay, I can get rid of this stupid freaking. Great. Okay, now I won't be pink stripe, man. <laughs> I am. It's just. It's just the red little cap now. <laughs> Mega honey. How's Moxie's perma sub going? Oh, that's so cruel. Spare lighter. Range finder. Cosplay with my webcam. Compass wasn't really worth a lot. I'm not sure if that can of food was worth anything. We do have some shotgun ammo. I'll take the compass again in case dumbass me gets lost, but... One of the ideas I had, because I noticed you could buy bear traps, is what if you just go around and put, like, 20 bear traps in a town? Like, that would be... That would be evil. Alright? That would be incredibly evil of you. People would hate you, I know. That's why you... You know, Mr. Bear, I don't like you, all right? I really don't like you. You're just going to come in here, go... Bah. And I, I think I've had enough. I've had enough of you, Mr. Bear. Please don't do that again. Oh, I just realized I might actually be, like, completely full. Well, I want you. So now we're going to have to start opening storage items here. Okay, didn't mean to do that. Where did the... It went into something else. Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, the weapons were only like 650, so if we just find a shit ton of sights, and then we have to run like six clicks to a trader. I know, we do have two or three pans. Shovel. It's another, uh, I think it's a lever action. It's another rifle. 
A bar mag? Okay. Hey. Just, 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 just. Can you, like, shut up? You ever, you ever think about doing that? Oh, it begins. Someone's been here, though, because there's two backpacks. It's a lot of guns. All right, I'm like completely full, so I'm just gonna try to run to the trader here. I know you're no, 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 no. I am not that starry. Okay, the night sky is as yeah. As you can see, the sky is now day. There are no stars here. Okay, you are horribly mistaken. Yeah, North Rider is like six clicks away. What was that noise? Ay, ay, ay. Was it a bird? Because that was a really deep-voiced bird, if you ask me. Zamiria, thanks for the three-month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. probably use trigonometry to figure out where I am if you know the position of the northern trader relatively to where I'm trying to run to. If you want a math. But no, I'm probably gonna... Um, I'll take a break in a little bit. So, you know, we probably won't get up to the trader today, but hey, you know. We'll get close. You know, these fields like a book. Falcon buddy, you're scaring me. <laughs> Falcon with them eagle eyes. Are those quad nods? Well, they're mine now. And I have a battery somewhere. All right, well, when I get up to the trader, I can get a head strap and put those on. That's funny. Cheeky, breaky loot man. Yeah, right, Ozamiria. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Next one will probably be, um, well, it will be a TSB one. I'm just debating if I want to take April off from Pay for Pain uh, and then just uh, do one in May. And instead of a pay for pain, because, you know, April's my birthday month, we can just do a massive, uh, a bunch of streams. So we'll see. I gotta decide what day I want to do it, what's already going on that day, and then what I might do with, uh, some specialized servers and equipment just to evade any, you know, DDoSing issues, but... We'll go for that. It's um, it's earlier in April. Is that a smoke billow or is that a tree? 
story of my life. I think that's a tree, just low rendered. Now, if I run into a bear, I'm probably going to die. So the trick, chat, is not to run into a bear. I'm going to eat this honey because, as we all know, honey repels bears. So if I fill myself with honey, I'm pretty much giving myself bear repellent. You know what I mean? You got to you gotta think outside of the box with these bears, man. Here's April 3rd, next Sunday. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Mine's a few days after, so. Why is there a freaking tower over there? Yep, so we're going to, we're just going to get rid of this honey here. I'm full, apparently, so we're going to put that away before I vomit, because that would be bad. So I have a little bit of honey left over, okay? But I've nullified the amount of honey I have. So it's going to be less. So bears are... What was that noise? Bears are only going to aggro on me from a very short distance, all right? They have to literally be, like, right on top of me to smell that honey. Another M14 back. The game wants me to keep this M14, like... I'd rather just sell all of it, to be honest, than when I need to grab it, I can grab it, but, you know. And then the freaking Winchester strapped Pooh Bear jumps in. I, I always love seeing a meme involving that, where he literally, like, comes out of his house with a gun going, who is it? <laughs> oh my god, American values in cartoons back in the day. It's epic. By the way, Falcon, wouldn't F and F technically start at 4 p.m. today because of uh, time change? Isn't the time change for Europe tomorrow? Because I, mean, I know OFCRA had a time change. Uh, no, Falcon, I'm not, because they don't want me there. So, you yeah, know. I don't, I don't know about it either, because um, when we were comparing DDoS attacks, the TSB one had a different MO than the OFCRA one. Plus, the OFCRA one was really, like, weak compared to the TSB ones. Like, it, it was like, you know, as a cybersecurity guy, it was like looking at a really good attack versus a really sloppy one. In my opinion. Uh, the thing is, though, OFCRA had an attack as well, like, a few weeks prior. And then I know uh, the 700th, or, you know, TOC, the last mission I did for them, they had an attack. But all of them have different MOs. So I think it all just coincidentally is tying into me streaming, but it's either... It either means I've pissed off a group of people and it's just, you know, my time of the month to, you know, get harassed by some random 4chan group or um, just a bunch of coincidences. Now, I get why they're not having me stream. You know, it's a major thing for them because, you know, they got Leclerc coming over and, you know, he's the community manager for Bohemia itself. And they just want to make sure everything goes smoothly. Um, I just think that given all the evidence and given the fact that OFCRA has had previous attacks on them, which may, might have been tied to me, might not have. Um, and then, you know, it's different MOs and whatnot. And the fact that like, I got them to admit the only reason they're not letting me stream is because I brought it to their attention in the first place, which I think is bullshit. Um, so, you know, it just... I'm not going to do them any favors anymore, you know? I'll just be selfish when it comes to that and i'm looking for other places to stream uh pvp for arma and uh you know the the trading card idea i'm gonna completely throw that out the window i'm not gonna do any extra work there because it's not worth my it's like a company that doesn't give a shit about you at that point so 
just kind of meh over the whole thing. And that's why I snapped at Nemesis earlier when he came in here and people were talking about it. And he was being all defensive. I don't, I don't care what their POV is. I know what it is. I'll tell it. I'm not going to tell you one side of the story. But, you know, I don't have to like it. I thought the texture was, like, floating in front of it, which I thought was funny. Which I think also means there might be some small stones that spawn on here, which I can make a stone knife out of, but I've got a kitchen. What the fuck was that? Was that me going over the freaking tree and making a freaking, like, brush collapsing sound? What the hell? Ay ay ay. Yeah, it's just situation. And it sucks, too, because I had plans today that I then canceled to go to FNF, and now I'm being told last second I can't go to FNF because of something I brought up, which is just, you know, rubbing the additional salt. But now I can't, you know, go and get those plans back because other people have already made new plans, so it's like, you know. That's why I'm a little pissed as well. Send in goat teams. I'm not even acknowledging now. it. Last day of the 24 month sub equals. Not even imagine it. You did it every fucking day because Twitch just kept letting you do that. I swear I am going to go DM someone from the tech support team and say you're doing it maliciously. Ah, <laughs> uh, I will get you. More noms. I don't know. It's funny, though, because I talked to Barbarian about FNF, and he told me, like, after, uh, you know, we just chatted up a bunch of stuff. Uh, he was like, you know, I'm also, <laughs> I've also been feeling like taking a break. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is going to make me look bad. And then I talked to Dream, and Dream's like, you know, I was also thinking about taking a break. I'm like, no, they're going to think I went to everyone and got them to stop. And I'm going to be blamed for all that shit. What is this? Oh, this is a local little base here. Like, uh, not a player made one. This is just like a little, I think, a uh, hunter's camp or something. Let's go ahead and check that out. So then they're just going to get mad at me even more. And I'm like, I don't I don't even care. But I was talking with Barb. He recommended a few other events. So tomorrow we're going to be covering ESM, which I haven't covered in years. But they do a, um, like, every, like two or three times a year, they do this massive, um, how would I even describe it? I'm looking for the words right now. Sorry. Um, they do a, a big, like, team v. team capture the flag thing. What are you? It's not even letting me pick you up. So I'm going to go cover that because, you know, it, it has been a hot second, and that's pretty fun. Wow, 120 slot dry pack. It's not that bad, actually. So I got the go-ahead from them. Uh, I'm excited to do that. But, you know, if... The DDoS is specifically attacking communities I go to. I'm just going to make sure I don't advertise the community IPs or, you know, discords and whatnot. And I'm going to experiment with the one of the newer communities I'm in, the 38th, because I haven't published anything about them. And there's three or four different 38ths. Sorry, I thought I heard a bush noise. I was checking my fullness icon, too. But, um, you know, just to mitigate... And the worst comes the worst, we just do a few single-player games. Still, it all blows over. Uh, yeah, the Frost uh, Daisy server ETA, it's whenever it happens at this point. Um, Falcon, so ESM is... Um, that's an invite only because it's only small teams. Uh, Pulsar, yeah, no, we're going to we're gonna do a Pulsar run. Definitely. But... I'm just looking for, you know, ways to keep doing what I want to do, but then also looking into other stuff. Uh, and then AFI, uh, AFI events, I'm going to see if I can, you know, cover those from above as well, because that's one I've always wanted to cover as well. Uh, I just haven't been able to look into it because, you know, I've been already super busy looking at other stuff. But that's what's kind of ironic about the DDoS is, yeah, like in the short term... What the fuck was that? Oh, nails. Sweet. Um. Oh! Hi! It was you! Okay. Um. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, I missed. Well, I'm an idiot. Um, did you just try to eat me? I'm not going to bother skinning them. I don't need to. I don't have the space for them anyway. Wait, 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 what the fuck was running at me? I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this anymore. Plus, I don't have the buttons to see. Like, I forget the buttons, how to, like, wash your knife and all that other shit. So I don't really want to, but... Ooh, Among Cards, but it's only 80, whereas this is, like, double that size. Ah, oh, it's all the zombies coming over because I just shot all those wolves. Ooh, katana. Yeah, it's actually not worth it to get the monk cards because usually the the mountain backpack is the. <sighs> you know, you could not. You could not. I haven't done anything to aggro anyone. If it was a single headshot, let's be honest, they'd kill me in the first shot. They'd be good enough to do something like that. Plus, you would have heard those aggro sounds on the zombies if that was real. Wow, there's going to be like a full kit of NBC around here. I hear the chickens. 338? I know that's fake. It's always a 338. You people just keep... Ah. Yes, I know. Okay, fuck off, you little nurse lady. What the hell? Wait. Oh. Awkward. I don't them. give a shit if you buried them, okay? You didn't bury them in the freaking state property line. All right? You got to follow the rules next time, spooky ghost man. Follow the rules. Oh. I ate it in one bite. It's tasty. It's very tasty. You know what? Fuck you and your loud noises. I'm I'm out of here. All right, you can you can keep your and all that bullshit. All right, I'm out of here. Freaking demons. Freaking four wolves wanna I don't even know. <laughs> They're attracted to my damn red head. That's what it is. I mean, we're going to still have them in the, uh, in the frost server, Falcon, so that should be good, but, you know. Whole ass MPX, right, I'm, I'm keeping that, man. Oh, yeah, and I did, I did find a little bit of alcoholic tincture, but I don't need it anymore because I have bandages, and bandages are automatically disinfected, so. I don't have to worry. Because the infection isn't from the wound, the infection is mistreating the wound with, like, a rag that isn't disinfected. You wish they would roam? You could set them to roam. Um, I think that's what Frost is doing with the dinosaurs. Oh, hello. Times at 221. Yeah, so I'm going to start wrapping this up in a little bit. The dinosaurs, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You'll, 
Just keep watching my DayZ streams, especially when Frost puts the server up. You will eventually find them. And then I'm going to be terrified. Um, this is a modded server. Because they have, like, traders and all this other stuff, so. I think it's, like, 53 mods total. So it's a good casual server to get on, you know, do some trading, let you guys troll me. And then, you know, when I finally think I'm safe... Something's actually going to come and eat me like a wolf or a bear. Or, you know, some player named Falcon with a blaze. You know how it is. You know. Oh, this is a full-ass town. I mean, do I really have any room to... Can we, Can we not make spooky noise... Can we not make spooky noises in the wo frickin' woods, please? Shut up! Here, let's check this. This is a... Hunter's Shack. A great helm. Oh, <gasps> the pink backpack. But again, it's not worth it because of the size. Pumpkin seeds, they're worth money. It's another great helm. I didn't see an option to sell great helms, though. And even then, like, clothing doesn't really get you that much. Pepper seeds, tomato seeds. Because seeds, you know, sell for, like, 150 Someone stomping on the Lego. <laughs> No, not, that wasn't me trying to have you do an eh, impression, you little shit. Okay, yes, thank you for your submission too, sir. I really don't care. Crazy, crazy little... You can't tell the zombies to do their stepping on Lego impressions, alright? They take their roles way too seriously. But no, this server is definitely, it, it's a weird blend of, in its, uh, like, I think PvP and looting elements, it's a lot more casual. And the zombies, it's a lot more casual, but it hides all the button configs. Uh, to, I guess, give it a little bit of difficulty either way. So you have to, like, memorize everything you're doing beforehand on a different server before you, uh, I would say, play on this one. That's not even a river. Fuck me. It's a dried up riverbed. Just looking at stuff to eat and drink while I'm out and about. Because another thing is if you get sick but you keep your fullness, uh, like you keep all these variables up, then you, you'll fight off the sickness. Your body will naturally purge it. World War Four people fight with Lego stomping on each other. I mean, I hope it never comes to that. I don't want my feet to be tenderized in that fashion. Thought for the day, how are you drinking from a closed can of soda? You see, Disc Master. I'm gonna blow your mind. Ready? Ready? We live in a simulation. And you know what that means, Disc Master? If we live in a simulation, if this game is a simulation... I have a question for you. Does that mean... <clears throat> does your mom really love you or not? Okay, that's that's the number one thing you have to ask yourself in a situation like that, okay? Does mommy love you? Okay, that's what, that's what you gotta understand, alright? And if you know the answer to that question, then I'm sure you'll be fine. But if you don't... You know. Well, at least you know. All right, at least you know the answer. All right, let's check that picnic table, too. Now, you got to be careful about flies, because flies means either a player or a zombie has died. 
in the area. I mean, it's, it's also an ambient noise. So you got to be fearful of that. But I noticed they also spawn on dead zombies, too. So. All right, a quick industrial hit. See if we get lucky with a code lock or something. I did just sell two. So two should have reappeared in the drop pool by now. And this is, like, way away. So. Let's see it. Uh, random box of ammo. Random ammo. CR-57 mag. Okay, I wasn't expecting this industrial shop to make ammo, but I guess I'll take it. Duct tape. Bomber jacket, spark plug. I didn't see anything for vehicle parts. So again, I'm, I'm wondering if the Northern Trader has some different stuff. I think we'll sell at the Northern Trader and then we'll call it because, uh, you know, places to be, things to do. Steal fake teeth and shoot. Wait, what? Zamiria, what are you even on about? What does that even mean? Probably not. I think it's only worth like 15, but you know, it's something. Ahoy. God, I wonder how Ahoy World's doing these days. I haven't thought about that place since 2016. I think 27. I could have sworn I just heard like super distant high caliber gunshots. Okay, safe zone. Okay. All right. I wasn't expecting to see that, but here we are. So this, I think, is if you have a vehicle, you can, like, store the Vic, which is pretty cool. Is there anything in here? No. But yeah, no, it looks like the same things to buy are also in here. So, I mean, those are expensive. <gasps> Floating cone. Okay. So medical clothing. I'm trying to see if there's anything different here. Military guns. All right, let's sell the weapons first. So we got another fane. Let's sell that. Sidearms, yeah, that wasn't really worth it for the four spots. Found a sawed off, that's worth it. I mean, hell, we can just um, show sellable. So that's only worth 800 bucks, okay. But these, yeah, this is where the real money is. Hell yeah, all right. And then we found a PB, sell that. All right. All right, cool. All right, show sellable only. I think that's a stack of 556. Five, Multiple uh, bar mags, yep, those were worth quite a bit. Oh, we have a few of these mags. All right, so yeah, no, that's a, that's a good haul. At least in my opinion, I have no idea. The compensator, I knew that was worth something. Yeah, so the box is worth more because that's 60, but it only gives you like 20 rounds, at least I think. So I actually don't know. But So a box is worth 60, 
but a box would give you 20 rounds and a 308 individual round is worth 30. So is it more to pull it out? No, it's about the same. 30 times 2 is 60. Huh. We'll pick up the stream in a little bit. Um, just give me some time. All right. You just can't spam the button because I think that's to prevent you from, like, trying to break the script, you know? And I'm keeping the shotgun rounds. And if I really cared about maximizing it, I'd pull all the ammo out of the magazines first, but I don't. I don't care. Yeah, it's cheaper to buy boxes in 20 individual rounds. That's what I'm seeing as well. All right, that's everything out of that. I doubt I have anything from here. Yeah. I mean, those are worth money. Oh, it looks like there's an actual, like, thing in there. Or were those lar mags? I don't know. Hey, you, you, you take... Yeah, I mean, that's that's 800 bucks right there. All right, I mean, free, free money. <laughs> I'll take it. I mean, it's only 800 ruples, which is what, like six cents? But, you know, I'll take it. Sure. Why not? Um, yeah, I'll sell the tuna. I'm keeping the jam, though. And I'm keeping the... Uh, nah, I mean, the jam is also that. I can just live off of water. It doesn't really matter. Medical... So show sellable bandages are worth good money. Blood test kits don't need those. Medical thermometer, IV starter kits. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Saline bags. I mean, let's be honest. If I get into a bad situation, I'm probably dead anyway. Um, just sell all that off. Clothing. Again, I don't think I have anything good. I have the belt, right? I mean, that's worth only 30 bucks, so. What the hell happened to you? Why are you, like, partially open base stuff? <laughs> so, yeah, code locks are one of the best items you can get, like, you know, for size. Kitchen knife I'm keeping. Compass for selling. Pipe wrench I keep as a melee weapon. We found a spare Zippo, so I'll sell that. Flashlight we can sell. Okay, so the gas stove was worth a bit. The nails, of course, we're selling. Rope was, okay, actually worth quite a bit. I found one thing, a duct tape. I'll, I think I have three total, so we'll sell that. And then the seeds I'm going to go ahead and sell, because when I feel like selling those, I'll uh, you know get to that. It was only worth 100. Ah, oh, that sucks. And my queue is only worth 100. That's okay. And then a flat pack bed. Let's just get rid of that. We can go buy it later, you know? My queue. So in, in high school, in my math class, that was my nickname for some really stupid reasons, but... It's okay. We don't have to go there. Nothing on the sellable. I should have kept the pelts at least. But then again, I don't know how to clean my hands and whatnot. So what do I have left over? We have a lot of modded ammunition, some suppressors, uh, some stuff in all of those packs as well. Alcohol is something you can't buy. Interesting. But the Sig Sire. Here, let me actually take this off of uh, that. So, yeah, not every gun is sellable. I just want to see because I, I don't think I can detect it when it's on a rifle sling. Yeah. So it's only worth 750 
So there's some guns that it doesn't buy. So Remington. So the Morty guns. And it also didn't buy my MPX. And we still haven't found a place to sell that. So is there like any other trader? Because the only other trader I can think of that would buy that stuff is um, the black market trader. Who's all the way down there. And that's a PvP zone. And there's a helicopter crash site there as well. You know, great. Plus you have to swim it. Or find a boat. But I don't see any boat traders. So essentially that weapon is uh, more or less useless. Neat. All right. About 237. Um, again, it's not worth it to get to the black market because it's such a it's such a slog, you know. Please tell me you didn't just eat all that. There we go. Yeah, 42 grand. So what? Uh, I have I have 420 dollars, but you know, with conversion rate, I've got 400 bucks. All right. Is this an RP server? No. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure people can just outright blow your fucking face off. Yeah, and then there's some sites that I've been picking up that you haven't been able to sell either. I'm pretty sure some of this stuff you can actually sell off, but, you know, we'll check. But if it's all in here, I'm assuming it's fair game. Wait, the farming hoe is worth one size? What? Oh, wow. I've had that on the melee sling for no reason then. Let me then put you on. That's funny. And then the hunting knife. I actually kind of want that. I'm a little gremlin, okay? I just, I just, I'll just sell everything. Don't worry about it. So, yeah, not every attachment is listed. That's why they were dumping those. All right, so it's like a very picky list. I'd imagine you can probably sell the rest at the black market itself. But, again, with that being an entire PvP zone, then, you know, why risk it? Maybe you spawn by Cherno and Electro and you want to make a quick buck or something. But, you know. Spare pipe wrench. Yeah, and then those Deagle mags, it didn't look like it took them. But, all right, well, uh, that's a uh, good place to stop. We'll buy an NVG head rack tomorrow and all this other stuff. But anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. So thank you so much for watching and chilling with me. Go operate operationally. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Cheers. You can call me Q. I don't care. And uh, have a good one. Back in a bit.